State and federal health care leaders have said over and over that COVID-19 vaccines are effective, safe, and the best way for us to tackle the pandemic. Still, according to a Pew Research Center survey in December, nearly 40% of Americans say they will definitely not, or probably not, get the COVID-19 vaccine when it's their turn. News Center Maine's Hannah Deneen did some research to find out why that distrust is so strong. Hannah? Hi, Pat. Well, two major factors of distrust that we're hearing is come down to timing, the speedy timing in which these vaccines were developed and pushed to market, and how long the clinical trials were regarding the safety of these vaccines. In both cases, health officials say people can be confident knowing corners weren't cut. To be fair, most vaccines as they come on the market, we don't have long-term trials for. Dr. James Jarvis with Northern Might Health says long-term complications with vaccines are historically minor and very rare. We don't see any damage or anything like that from, from any vaccine that we've been used in the last decade or more. Dr. Jarvis says any side effects with vaccines are more likely to present upfront. Vaccines typically have, have very little um, untoward effects on the long-term effort. Most of the time, the effects that we have from vaccines are almost immediate. Such is the case with the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines. There have been some rare instances of allergic reactions immediately after injection. Usually within the first 15 or 30 minutes, and certainly within a short period of time after the vaccine has been administered. And while these mRNA vaccines are new, the science behind them is not. Even the two novel vaccines of Pfizer and Moderna really are, are not a novel technology. We use this technology in other in other ways of, of advancing health care. Dr. Jarvis says these vaccines use the science of our own biology to assist in fighting against infection. And it's actually a very clever way of doing things because it's basically just just having our bodies turn on ourselves to make that spike protein so that we can then have our immune system fight fight that spike protein. While the approval of the vaccines was expedited, Northern Light Health Associate Vice President Matt Marston says emergency use authorization doesn't mean corners were cut in regards to the science behind them. All the same work is done. It just puts that ahead of other reviews and make sure that the FDA can evaluate it in an expeditious manner. Now, both of these health experts, they emphasize that all the careful criteria was met for each of these three vaccines that have now been approved. And in each case, clinical trials are being carried out right now in order to acquire that long term data. And we should mention if you have any further questions about COVID-19 vaccine safety and efficacy, please email us at verify at newcentermain.com. Pat. All right. Thanks, Hannah.